Hello, and thank you for your interest in our resources at the National Center for Functional Glycomics. I'm Dr. Jamie Heinberg Molinero, and along with Dr. Richard Cummings, we direct the Glycan Microarray Facility at Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center, Harvard Medical School, in Boston, Massachusetts. This is a training video on how to perform an experiment on a CFG Glycan Microarray slide. The experiment is performed and narrated by our research technician, Mr. Ricky Barnes. You can also view the protocol for this assay in the Protocols tab under Resources at the NCFG website. If you have any questions, please contact us through the form on our website or email us at ncfgservice at bidmc.harvard.edu. Thank you. The following video is a demonstration of an assay performed on a CFG glycan microarray using a biotinylated lectin and fluorescein conjugated streptavidin. Remove the frozen slide from minus 20 degrees and dry it in a desiccator under vacuum for 20 minutes. Remove the slide from the desiccator and rehydrate with TSM wash buffer. While the slides are rehydrating, prepare the glycan binding protein and TSM binding buffer. Use caution, do not touch the printed surface of the slide. Carefully apply 70 microliters of the dilution of lowest concentration onto the slide, one quarter of the distance from the left edge. While avoiding air bubbles, slowly place a cover slip onto the slide and incubate in a humidified tray for one hour at room temperature. Remove the covered slide from the tray and let the cover slip slip off into a glass waste container. Immediately remove residual glycan binding protein with a small volume of TSM wash buffer. Wash the slide by dipping into TSM wash buffer four times. Remove excess TSM wash buffer. Add 70 microliters of fluorescent streptavidin. Apply a cover slip and incubate for one hour in the dark.
Remove the cover slip from the slide. Immediately remove residual protein with a small volume of TSM wash buffer. Wash the slide by gently dipping four times each into TSM wash buffer, TSM buffer, and type 1 water. Spin the slide in a centrifuge to remove residual droplets of water. Insert the slide into a fluorescent scanner and read it the appropriate wavelength. 